going to be a fun little video about my mom's trip to the Derby Dinner Playhouse to see Marty Robbins and this occurred in 1978. As those of you who were around in 1978 know, Marty Robbins was a pretty big name country singer. Actually crossed over from pop to country, but that's not the point. We're in the Louisville area. The Derby Dinner Playhouse is in Clarksville, Indiana. 1978 was one of the two worst winters we've ever had on record. This was going to be a late show, 9, 9.30 at night. Well, there was snow forecast for that night, and the standing joke was I was about 18 at the time that myself and my dad would have to go get her unstuck if she got stuck coming home. Well, you got to remember, this was during, I believe it was a coal strike, and they had some street lights turned off and so forth. And now my mom was driving at the time a 1963 Chevy, and I'm going to try to show a picture of it. This is the only picture I have, and I don't know how well it's going to show up. It's not too bad there, but it's 63 Impala, 327, two-door automatic. Well, the standing joke was, like I said, she might get stuck. Well, before the show, I said I was going to take a shower. That way, if my mom did get stuck, I'd be available to go with my dad, who had a year-old truck at the time. And before you say, well, your dad had a new truck, and your mom's driving a 15-year-old car. She got her new car the next year, and it was her idea for my dad to get the new truck. In fact, she arranged the financing through her credit union. She was all fired, so... But, as I got ready to take a shower, I just went in the, went in the bathroom, got, got my clothes off, and I heard the phone ring. So, I opened the door. My dad answered. I opened the door a little bit. I said, do we need to go up there already? Yep. Get your clothes on. Now, if you're familiar with the Derby Dinner Playhouse in Clarksville, they have a heliport. With the lights out, and if you were old enough to remember driving a 63 Chevy or probably any 60s or even 70 model cars, headlights compared to today. You know the today's headlights are a lot better. Well, trying to find a place to park and having never been to Derby Dinner, which is a little ways down from the Marriott Hotel. It was Marriott at the time. It's Holiday Inn now. Tried to go for the heliport, which has grass between the parking lot and the heliport, and got stuck. So we get in the truck, myself and my dad. We head up there, take some chains. The truck is was bought to pull a large camping trailer, so it has the good recessed hitch on, so it's easy to hook to the truck. You just hook to the hitch. It's got it's got plenty to pull it. Pull a '63 Chevy, and this is what scared me. My dad tells me, "Get in the car. You're gonna have to start up and give me some help, but don't hit the back of the truck." And here's this almost new truck, but we got it out, and my mom went to Derby Dinner. I know this is kind of a story on the lighter side, just something happened some years ago. But if you remember the coal strike and the lights on the 60 model cars compared to 70 model cars and maybe even some of the 80 model cars compared to today, you'll understand what I'm talking about.